Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me these two photographs. They're a little bit blurry, but they want, I don't know what they're doing with this, but they want this to not be a flat, smooth surface. So I've already created two. One of them is called Elephant Skin. It's pretty cool. And one of them is just a burlap that is a bitmap and it's not perfect. But I just took a rectangle and I used a smart fill tool with the eyedropper and I got that relatively close color to that and filled that in. And then I went to effects, texture and elephant skin, and you could play around with this, you know, with the settings and the age and the colors and the randomization. I'm just gonna leave it like it is. And that's pretty cool within itself. But you could also go to the internet and find burlap. And all I did was take a burlap that's pretty high in definition and there's probably a lot of them out there. This one's not that good, but I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna copy the image. I just right click and I'm gonna cut and paste it and I put it in. It's right here. Now a little bit of key word, when you're doing it and you just want it in this frame, you can't not use just two, two rectangles. If you will take the smart fill tool and fill that in, now it actually becomes an object. Then you can move, whoop move that uh, object over and you can, I always would be left click, right click. And then you could select both of them and go right here to intersect. And now you have that pattern in a frame. It looks pretty cool. I mean, it's not, it's a rough, and I'm sure there's stuff on the internet that you could even get a little closer. I actually picked another one that's more grainy. And all you have to do is once you get your frame, just do your intersect, and now you have that uh, burlap stitch looking roughness. And But there's probably anything on the internet that you could find that you could put in that frame. I hope that helped. Thank you for watching.